I played in Sandbox Day and recorded it, a whole video. Uh, <laughs> and uh, it's 20 minutes long and some, some change. And uh, it's a fun... It's going to be fun. much shorter after I edit it, I'm sure. Oh, I'm, I'm absolutely sure. There's a lot of me not talking, just being frustrated with how bad I am at jump puzzles. Um, so I did some exploring. It, you'd be, I got the shield before I got the sword. I'll start there. Um, <laughs> cool. I do think there should be a tutorial explaining that E is an interact button. I'm just going to throw that out there because I had no idea what, what any of my controls were. So that isn't my second game, but yeah. But um, I killed the man named Carl because I was frustrated and he was annoying. Oh, no, not Carl. So Carl was Carl's asking for it. Carl's a lowly janitor, dude. Yeah, well, now he's not. <laughs> um, I collected a bunch of blue trash bins and some golden treasures. And the skeleton I found up in the oh, closet. Oh, you found Skelly? I did, I did. Um, you just found, I found all that stuff out of order where the quest wasn't activated yet. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I found everything out of order. <laughs> so, um, okay. And then I could not get between the first set of bookshelves to the second one where you have to like use the vine to cross i there's no way in hell i have to find a shortcut to get there quicker because i have those jump puzzles man i noticed some shortcuts i guess they're not really shortcuts and more experienced player might have seen it right away but uh yeah i'm excited to see you play it so i can go oh that makes so much more sense that's how you do that <laughs> so but i had a lot of fun I was uh, watching Angry Video Game Nerd, uh, his last episode, and um, he's kind of like trying to do some different stuff in his in his episodes. And he was having this segment where he was talking with a video game developer that he was making a Nintendo style, um, Nintendo, like a Nintendo style Angry Video Game Nerd video game. And um, one of the things he was talking about is how game developers often make their levels too hard because they're practicing the same thing constantly um so that makes a lot of sense of how i was making levels really hard but i still wanted i still wanted like a, a rage inducing platform game it's rage inducing so, there's there's it, it's like it's a fun game the aesthetics are nice the things that make it rage inducing are i'm one terrible at jump puzzles i hate jump puzzles uh two there's inertia in this game if your character's moving forward they don't stop when you stop moving they like take another step forward like i fell off the platform probably four or five times because of that i was like no which is fun like that's good like it's mechanics that you can easily work around you just have to learn how to play the game uh and yeah you know. it was your first time ever playing yeah and like it's it's fun like I, I i like the aesthetic i found i know where i need to go like i saw all the way up top and i know i gotta go get the damn key to open the door that i found all the way down low that automatically shut on me it's real fun that level uh, isn't quite programmed right but uh why is the door not supposed to shut on me was i supposed to be in the room you can still interact and open it but the doors interact with when you collect things they also swing open and shut Oh, so it's because I grabbed the trash can that the door is shut. Yeah, they're just swinging open and shut when you collect things. I, I didn't fix it. So, yeah, it wouldn't let me open it after it shut. So. Oh, really? Yeah. Just eat and interact? You should be able to open it. Hey, nothing happened, and that's why I was like, oh, I must need the key for this. Oh. Well, I, I, that one's a little glitchy. That was my first attempt ever at learning how to program anything. <laughs> Well, no, and I, again, I still like the level. Like, looking up and seeing the moving platforms or anything, like, that's sick. Like, it's dope. I'm excited to see Santa Slay. Uh, one, because I think you're going to be a little more experienced with the programming of the level. And uh, maybe there'll be a minor tutorial at the start that'll let me know what my controls are. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do want to say that I do want the levels to feel like you're not... And you'll you, in particular, will appreciate this as being a DM. I don't want to f make somebody feel like they're railroaded into something. So, like, that the library is a very railroady. Rare railroady? Yes. Yeah. Uh, Santa Slay is not at all railroady. You can feel like you're doing whatever you want to do. I'm very, but, very excited each, for that. Which direction you go, you can, fin it, you can have a victory. 
which is cool. No, like that I'm gonna be very excited for. And that's kind of what made me a little sad with the library because I knew where I had to go. I'm just not skilled enough to get there. Yeah, um, no, I, I think I've come to appreciate how hard the library is and I'm gonna do a speed, like it's hard for me to do a speed run in one, like I get super pissed doing it. You know, <laughs> that's how hard it is. So I think with so, that one, I'll just like put out my own speed run video. Edit you up, put out my own speed run, and then Santa Slay will do a little slower, I think. We'll do I, one quest at a time with Santa Slay. Hell yeah, maybe I'll be able to figure out how to grab a sword off the wall. <laughs> like I sat in front of it, punching it repeatedly. Like this is not working. <laughs> Santa Slay is still hard, but it's a lot more fair. And so if I fall at one point, it doesn't reset me at the very beginning. No, that always happens. That'll always oh, happen in my games. Fuck me, I hate that shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, I'm kidding. Like, as far it's as fine. I know the programming that'll that'll always happen at this point. I don't know how to program it to spawn at different spots yet. Well, no, I was talking about, you know, when you're doing a climbing puzzle and you get to the very top and if you fall, you start all the way over again. There's no, no that's like, how halfway. the library works for sure. That's yeah. how Santa's play works as well. But Santa's Slay, you don't like you're not constantly falling into things. You're stuck in rooms. OK, see that I think will be more tolerable. So I'm very excited, though, and I think you'll enjoy some of what I said. I didn't say a lot because I it just got to the point where I was doing the same thing over and over again. Um, no, I'm excited to edit it because, like I said, I, I like watching those videos. So, And I'll be nice, I promise. I'll put together a nice classy video. Nice classy video of this guy getting upsetty spaghetti. Classy. Yeah, I'll do my best. But uh, thanks for coming on the show today, Adam. And we'll have you on again here, obviously. Everyone, have a great day today.